Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. In this game, into Radiance. PA, I don't think you can get, uh, you get to play PA without going Battle Fury. Uh, I don't think that this is a place I'll just support it. Jump in. Snowball used. They will try to make FBZ slightly safer, but I think he's dead. Yeah, he's really, really dead. MKS going forward. One more Stefan Dagger or Blink Strike is going to be enough. Oh, they're going to leave the kill for the Treant. After in the late game, at least when it comes to man fighting her or like woman fighting her, I guess. Uh, <laughs> top lane, they will kill Treant Protector pretty quickly. Not a lot of trouble. Top lane, they'll go Natsumi. Can he escape here? He's trying to jog around the trees. Will it actually be successful? Surprisingly slow. So, despite being pushed by the trees... Oh, that was a mistake and a half by Nush. We'll get the rune Zephyr though. He's in some trouble using Snowball to get to a different position. But I think he, I still think he's dead. I don't think he gets away from here. Can get a courier here. Oh, if he used tag team, I think he gets a courier. Tries to knight himself to the creep. So, but so FBZ has ultimate. Does he, does he actually commit? Not sure about it. They will commit with Haunt. MKS tries for a blur, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. They don't even need to use the uh, ultimate. Actually, oh, it's not gonna connect. MKS, he will survive, and now he's ready to turn. Not so in a really bad position. Phoenix doesn't have his ultimate, though. Neither does Tree and Protector because he's level five. So Phoenix has to run forward. He's looking for an angle. Probably won't find it. Actually, there is now a counter initiation and an arrow, but it's a point blank arrow, so it's not gonna last for too long. And Sonic Wave is coming off cooldown. Sonic Wave is available. Task is dead already, so you don't really want to commit with it. You don't really want to use it. Wanting to get a kill on Catapult. FBZ being jumped though. They will go with Nature's Grounds. The slowest here. FBZ, he does not care about this Phantom Assassin at all. Honestly. But in the meantime, top lane, they will use Sonic Wave. Will heal himself up. Phoenix is in position. Oh, stolen horn. They will just try to lead him. Won't be able to do it immediately, but will ultimately be successful. Actually, no. Yopash going out of here with a rolling thunder and Zephyr trying for TP. His TP will be cut short with a fade ball. Oh, jump in. Bottom lane, Natsumi has his blade mail. Is it gonna be enough to save him? No. Actually, MKS doesn't even feel him all that much. He was hitting into blade mail and didn't mind because he has Phantom Strike with Life Steal. I think with Limited Armor as well. And they will be able to get it to full. Now, in the meantime, they do find Queen of Pain. Can they actually do something with Phoenix? Oh, he will be clipped by the Rolling Sounder, and that means he does get stunned up. Doesn't get a chance to blink out. Now, Yopash is on top of Irving. It doesn't have a slow. He already used the Fusal Blade, so Irving will be able to disengage. But it's still a... Oh, mid lane. They go for a Ravage. They will stunlock Phoenix, but not long enough. He's trying for a swashbuckle kill, but he will miss it on Yopash. And now Irving, he is ready to fight. Yopash doesn't have his ultimate anymore. He will be cut down by Sonic Wave. And Phoenix, he is getting back from almost that. MKS is cleaning house, and it's going to be three kills going the way. You buy Radiance, let's say, 17 minutes. In. Okay, they see MKS. Is he a target? Uh, they are blinking in. MKS will be stunned once and will be cut down. They're trying to do something here with Stream Protector, but mostly they're just getting prepared for a kill on MKS after he's gonna... Oh, jump out! And, uh, haunt used. They will go for a Haunt. Sonic Wave will stop your push for a little bit. They can't really go for... Oh no, they can go for a nice Leravage onto three. They find them, just clipping them barely, but they still clip them and they will clean house because of it. It was almost out of range once again, but FBC, he does make the same mistake twice. Being pressured a little bit, but should be safe. I don't think they can really go for this tree. And Mini Haunt is available. They're trying for it, but won't find him. We'll find tree and Zo. So they're just gonna be hunting other heroes. I, I guess that's the proper approach, right? We know that PA is a hard kill. We know that you don't have... Oh, they jump in. Oh, it's an illusion. But they will find Irving. That's a real one. They will squash the spider. Rolling Sanders stolen? Really? No way. Oh, no, that's just roll up. That's just roll up from Rubik. And he will be cut down after it ends. Actually, maybe not. Overgrowth coming in through. Can they do something with it? Haunt committed. MKS fighting with the illusions. Illusions chasing Helios, but it's not gonna be enough. But it's gonna be breaks Kraken Shell. She breaks dispersion. Uh, she will not be able to save her Rubik's though. 
Irving is trying hard for that, but it's pretty unlikely. Actually, they will get him into a better position. He's being healed up, and Walrus Punch has been stolen. They're going for Zephyr. Zephyr will be blown up. Oh, but now, now they go with a Ravage. Now they want to find a fight. They see MKS, Arrow of the Mark. And MKS trying to jump out, double star storm for him, but it's not enough damage. Everyone is still alive somehow on the side of Unity Gaming. Chase continues to push out of a good position into a really bad one, but will use roll up to be safe. Helios also steals roll up, will survive for a little bit longer because of it, but it's not gonna be enough. And Irving now, he was seen, he is gonna be cut down. But not before they kill X Nova. A jump in from Nasumi. That's another shadow step used by Spe Ravage, 50 yes. seconds. Your push using haste. Bottom lane. They do see Phoenix. They commit. Oh, Phoenix uses uh, Sonic Wave. Tries for a blink out. Will not be able to blink out. Make it for free, right? But FBZ should be okay. Will be slowed down. They go for the home. And now, is it gonna be enough? That lockdown? No, MKS will use BKB and get out of here. Stolen shards. Can prevent something, but Yopash is already rolling and they hating, they absolutely hating. They see Yopash going forward, can go for another blink in a second. Uh, not blink, uh, the shield crash. Helios will catch him in the air, but it's not gonna be enough to save his life. MKS is BKB less, and MKS will probably be cut down in his own base. Yeah, he's dead. They're chasing with a snowball to Phoenix, but I don't think they kill Phoenix, but they do kill Irving. Irving should be dying soon. Tusk chased Natsumi uh, using a lot of his abilities will settle down for a kill on Phoenix while everyone is trying to disengage but Rubik he won't be able to MKS now applies break to Spectre but it's too late buddy you know like you, you don't have the fight in you anymore MKS will be body blocked a little bit they're going in for the rolling thunder oh they even commit with their overgrowth so it's uh, it should be okay for they don't hard commit for now FBZ is in position to corner initiate. Oh, they break. They break Pango. He's taken a lot of damage. But now, can they actually do something here? The jump in is impossible. MKS has BKB activated. So FBZ can't really turn it around. But MKS realizing that, that his BKB is running short. He will just TP out. Irving is not going to be so lucky. Can they? I don't know why. I mean, it, it is a good hero. Mid lane. They do find MKS. Oh, he's just dead. They don't even need to use Ravage. Ravage is still available. They will keep Phoenix in place for a little bit longer. Phoenix, with his BKB, should be able to jump away. But does it matter? Probably not. Like, you can blink out your building's hand. It's 35 minutes into the game, and they take 20 seconds to kill a tier 3 tower. I mean, it, it is you, like, under the effect of living armor, sure, but. Oh, this is hilarious, honestly. <laughs> they will find the kill on, on Rubik as well. Oh, a nice double Ravage as well, because they can... They no longer need to be afraid of Rubik. Actually, triple Ravage. Irving was trying to hide inside his own throne, like a little spider he is. And it's gonna be an ultra kill for the side of... Boom, and GG is called. Boom will take this, and they will take it with a Spectre Draft. They will take it pretty convincingly it did look and what does it go for is it go for dawn breaker um they have tiny as so how did fbc get that he got the burrow strike off okay zephyr will eat the double star storm the second uh, hit from the meteor isn't that effective uh, they can go for a stun, and they will get a quick and easy kill on Mirana Magic 1 kind of deal. Or maybe even a Soul Ring, just so that you always have mana for Burrow Strike. In the meantime, bottom lane, they will find a kill on one hero. Shove in the wave, he gets to do whatever he wants. Doesn't really need to go too early with uh, Diabolo Edicts. Bottom lane, they will also cut off Irving, escape attempt. Uh, I think he's okay fighting for, and standing for a while, because he's just that tanky. It's it's a... Uh, it's uh, really pretty as well. Um, double, uh, top lane. MKS will fall. FBZ though might be the trade here. FBZ eats the freaking fairy fire and survives. Beautifully done. Zipic anti mage, honestly. I I'm still uh, waiting to be pleasantly surprised. I understand why Spectre might be better. I understand why Alchemist can be better. But this hero? Probably not. Phoenix? Oh, he will find a kill. He is being shut down at all. Phoenix is actually ahead of Yopash. 
at this point, oh, they will also get a kill on him. And I think Yopash is in a lot of trouble once again. He will be in a recovery mode in this game from the looks of it. Irving might have the same fate. Will be cut down by Natsumi uh, Raze Band. As well as maybe the aura from Tower. He did die. Ex Nova. He didn't leave for a if, like if you leave for a second more, maybe he goes for a snowball play. But it is impossible. Super good position. Stun will connect. Yopash will be bailed out. Oh, actually, no, it's not bailing out. It's more hurt. It's more pain on your face. Big Dome Breaker just landing there. Lash is that Zephyr. Probably gonna suffer the same fate. Double Star Storm, and he is just gonna die. Killing spree going the way of Mirana. Two quick and easy kills. X Nova rotating to this mid lane, but he might be cut down himself. Point blank arrow. The duration of the stun is super low, but I don't think you can get a way out of here. He was scouted out. He will be destroyed, and so will the tower. It's gonna be MKS. Strangely enough, despite all the space, he is now struggling. Bottom lane, though, they see Natsumi. Can he be saved? Actually, they turn in round with the Avalanche, though. Natsumi takes a lot of damage. Refraction in five seconds. He's trying to run away, and he will be able to do exactly that. Helios will be destroyed by your oh, multiple TPs. And Helios just immediately with a toss FBC tries to survive. And will survive actually. Dawnbreaker though, she gets on top of TA and she also allows for a narrow connection. And this TA is that FBZ. Maybe thinking about a quick epicenter. Goes in, goes, tries to blow somebody up. Will blow up a killing spree Phoenix. That was actually Zephyr taking the gold for that. Ex Nova in some trouble. Dodge Starbreaker and a come in from MKS. A mega kill for Mira. He's like, guys, I know that I have to do something here because otherwise it's just not gonna work. Oh, Yopash with a quick and easy uh, Tumblr Stoy into stun play. Not gonna work out as well as he hoped for. He will be stunned here and his Bloodstone is gone, but it was a cute play regardless. Natsumi. Oh, his Mel Strike is not gonna work out. Irving will close the distance. In the meantime, though, in the back lines, they did blow up Mirana. Chase continues. Natsumi really wants this Irving kill. I don't think he gets it. At the same time, though, Phoenix, essentially, they don't want to give it away for free. And they have Blink on Helios. Jump in. They see two. Oh, what a stun. They might cut down multiple heroes immediately. They will cut down three, actually, not just a couple. And Irving, he came here to save his teammates. But instead, he'll just die as well. What a play from F. Chasing after him. Moonlight Shadow committed. And Helios will go for a stun into Arrow. Snowball to save him. Oh, they baited it perfectly. They might lose Rubik, but they... Oh, they will actually not lose Rubik because he has Blink. How can he lose a Rubik with a Blink? You can't. Rubik is just gonna disengage. He will be A-OK. -okay. Between Arcane Supremacy and Ezer Lenses, Blink has an insane range. And they will also find Antimage. No way! Oh, he's gonna get snowballed up. Ex Nova kind of saving this Antimage a little bit. MKS goes for a Mana Void. Will blow him up and should be fine himself. Rubik, though, he stalls uh, Solar Guardian. He's jumping on top of Dawnbreaker. How do you like that? Doesn't have the size uh, that Dawnbreaker. Like, he's not sick. But he is playing TA. And that's a hero that can hit towers so, so, so well. We'll have a 20 minute BKB. Fight continues though. They will find a stun on Anti Mage and a double kill for Zephyr, who goes forward. Actually, no, it's Yopash going forward, but it doesn't matter. Whoever. I have like a mini stun. But yeah. FBZ jumping forward, sees Irving. Uh, there is a shard on Irving. He can dodge the snowball. He was a little bit too hasty, though, so he will pay with his life. I mean, he still dies, right? It's, it's not like he gets to survive here. He's also jump Helios, getting him closer to FBZ for a stun on Boros Strike and Split Earth to follow up from Yopa. Oh, Solar Guardian, they're trying to save somebody, connecting on Sand King, Sand King will eat Mana Void, it's, not, it's gonna be enough to kill him, but now Solar Guardian from Zephyr, and it's gonna connect onto one, while Split Earth will kill Dawnbreaker, a uh, 4 for 1. She got Shard, and instead of going BKB, got Halberd, I, I think it's the correct approach. They could use a pipe. Really, right? Oh, fight brewing up here. Nice triple stun from Pango, and the follow-up is here. Can they react? Rubik cannot. 
they will get away on the Sun King, though. Natsumi uses his BKB, gets into MKS face, but his BKB is running short. They can jump him. Uh, Natsumi, he's isolated with the shards, will be disarmed as well. They will blow him up. In the meantime, though, oh, look at your boss. He's just going crazy. They thought they can fight against the Slash with Anti-Mage. Well, he's a mage, but he is just gonna chew. In some choke point is the play. The smoke out, so... Uh, Shadow Blade? Actually, full Silver Edge here. Sweet. Moonlight Shadow will it reveal the smoke, but it's not gonna be enough. A triple aqua, triple avalanche, and it's still not freaking enough. And they will also catch Pango, who will not be able to use his ultimate. It was a quadruple avalanche, you know. It's, it's not exactly game-changing in any way. Antimate jumping forward. Natsumi lost all his mana. Also, somehow, Arrow will connect and they will get rid of his first life with absolutely no problem at all. MKS, can he just follow? Will be silenced up. Uses counter spell. Should be okay. The tower probably won't be. Natsumi, can you jump? He, he's thinking of jumping because he can get rid of the mana. Oh, they find a topple uh, and... Uh, snowball. That's that's not the ideal target. That's probably not the target you were going for. MK has taken a lot of damage from Melt, and Yopashi is just ju jumping forward with his BKB, glowing gold and dealing damage. They use Glyph to make some extra use of their tower, and Natsumi has to press his BKB break onto Antimage. He will eat a green arrow in his face and will die. Has no buyback. Oh, Zephyr, what are you doing? Why are you breaking so many ang- Jump in, Yopash. Will get got on. He is gonna get destroyed. Natsumi is out. He is ready to be the revenge. Actually, with the disarm, he's not being revengeful at all. It might be in some trouble himself. They will disengage on Irving. Helios gets Avalanche. Uh, they will connect with the arrow. A snowball safe coming through, though. And Helios has to run away. Won't be able to around the snowballs. And another green arrow from Zephyr is gonna last for eternity. Phoenix will fall. Double kill for X Nova. People. Jump in, Solarbind, MKS, fight against Natsumi. They will find X Nova most likely. Natsumi is gonna be the priority target. They will blow him up as well as Zephyr. Two quick kills for MKS. <laughs> so well done. Getting to his basher soon. I don't think they kind of want to get to a point where uh, her main steroids come from using mana. He's not like, okay, they will find it. Oh, oh no. 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 MKS, come on. Why? They get 10 extra seconds in this game. So I'm, I'm not sure if it's worse. And MPC jumping in. It's Avalanche. Will be cut down by Antimage. Actually, not really because of the hex on MPC himself. Quarter spell will not be working out. In the meantime, Phoenix trying to go for the back lines. Will be mostly successful in zoning out supports. And Xnova only now goes for the snowball. They will kill Phoenix. But the last rock is going to be blown up. But not enough. Not enough damage on the mana void. And it's going to be Antimage falling. Dawnbreaker falling. Phoenix falling. And I think this game is just straight up over. This is it. I don't think you can defend your tower with... Oh, Boomy Spores. I mean, it's not an end, end of the road for Unity Gaming, right? They still have the lower bracket. They are now finding themselves. And they still have a chance to go back and at least get some retaliation. But I have to say, Boom look absolutely freaking unstoppable. I don't think it's, it was ever close in this game.